5.16, your time, and a big day out there today. Uh, Henry is here with us talking about uh, the eclipse. Where are you going, Amelia? But what you yeah. couldn't see is her, like, sneaking <laughs> off the camera like she didn't want to be seen. You're, you're one on yeah. Uh, oh, we're going to talk to Amelia here in just a second, uh, but I guess I suppose we'll do weather first. Uh, and, yeah, the eclipse is obviously the, the big talker today. Yeah. I know some schools are uh, either not having class today letting out early, trying to kind of figure out what to do with the eclipse. I guess the, the good and bad of it is that there will be good or decent views uh, around, but you're saying you kind of need to head west, perhaps, for, for a better view of Which it. Which is, is also right? where you'll have a better chance. Like, going to Paducah, you'll see mm -hmm. it in totality. Okay. what we got in 2017. Okay. And if you've never experienced it, it is worth trying one time. It's the most incredible yeah. thing. Uh, but as you come east, like in Nashville, mm -hmm. we're going to be around 90%. Okay. So you may not be able to look, well, don't look with the naked eye. Yeah. One. But even but with you your glasses. Really, it won't get dark yeah. and stuff. But if you put your glasses okay. on, you'd be able to see, you know, part of the sun mm -hmm. covered up okay. by the moon. So uh, just one of those days that if you can do it, go do it. Yeah. Why not? It's not going to happen in America again right. for 21 years. Yeah. And what are we looking at time-wise? Like what would be the, the essential time, viewing? time, I think, is about 2 o'clock when 2 it would be okay. uh, at the most covering that we will yeah. see. Now, okay. What about the sky conditions? That yeah. has been the million dollar question that so many of you have asked and that is what we're gonna answer for you right now. I'm gonna begin with exact track and I wanna show you the conditions as we roll through the day because you can see those clouds are pretty thick. A little bit of rain possible, but uh, I think by viewing time, while models try and squeeze out a few showers, those chances are minimal. Here's a look at things on uh, exact track at noon. So we're mostly cloudy still, and I think more cloud cover as you're off to the east and to the south than, say, western Kentucky, northwest Tennessee, or southern Illinois or eastern Missouri. Two o'clock, that's when we'll be at totality in places like Paducah, when we'll see the most covering here in middle Tennessee. Models are trying to hint at a few showers. I'm not going to say it's impossible, but I think the chances are lower. I think we're going to have a mostly cloudy sky uh, out there, especially go from Nashville into the east and to the south. Heading into this evening, I do think we have a chance of seeing a few showers uh, rung out of the sky, and that will continue through dinner time. We'll get a bit of a lull this evening, and then overnight tonight, clouds really fill in, rain chances really start to ramp up, and we're looking at more widespread rainfalls we had through the day on Tuesday with some embedded thunderstorms in there. Not looking at severe weather, but we are looking at the concerns of, yes, rain and some rumbles of thunder to impact your Tuesday. In fact, much of this week looks to be a soggy week. We're going to see probably from now until Thursday night, anywhere from well over an inch to in some spots, computer models showing around four inches. Now, again, this is not in a 24 hour span. This is spread out over the week, but it's gonna be some good soaking rain for some that we'll have to watch closely for some of our flood prone areas. Our sky cam that's over at Vanderbilt Medical Center as you're looking towards, uh, in this case, one of the new dorms there, that tower right there on West End, 58 degrees, south wind at eight. Nashville International this morning in Donaldson from our Skynet site there at the Senesta Hotel, 60 degrees. We've picked up five one hundredths of an inch of rain, 50s and 60s out there. So it's a mild start to the day. Typical high is about 70. We'll be above that. Here are the rain showers that uh, we are waking up to this morning. Cookville, a steady rain. Smithville, Sparta, down towards McMinnville. Shelbyville, Lewisburg getting in on some of that and then over towards West Tennessee and northern Mississippi continuing with some of that rain as well. Real sky temperature is a little warmer than what it's indicating, but I do think this is a pretty good indication of the sky as we head towards eclipse time this afternoon. So really having to uh, encourage you to go west to have a better chance to see some of that eclipse. Not saying you won't see it in Nashville, but chances could be a little bit uh, hampered with those clouds. 76. That's our high today, 68 tomorrow. Look for 70s Wednesday and then Thursday, a little bit below average. But my goodness, by the weekend, Amelia, temperatures climbing into the mid-70s. A lot of people, I think, will have outdoor plans by the weekend.